There's been all sorts in the papers, hasn't there? And you know what has hit the fan about the X Factor. What's gone off? What happened on Saturday? Oh, it was all kicking off. I saw this. It was fabulous. I know it was. Um, but I'm, do you know why I knew you were serious? Because when you kick off, you really go for it. And you were quite cold. And you said to them, I have to go now. You give him a kiss and you walked off. And that's when I twigged. I thought, she means business here. Do you know what it is? It's a reality show. And it's meant to be real. And I'm real. And so I go with the program. It's like, you know, I don't think what I'm going to say. I'm not one of these people that sets it all up before I go on. And I'm going to say this and do that. That just comes. And I just yeah. do it. So I felt that way. I said what I wanted to say. I was, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I'm like, no, not again. And, um, oh, I just had it up to here. I thought, I'm not playing anymore. Yeah. And I just said what I said. And because I don't, I'm not rehearsed, it just comes off. So that's the way I felt Saturday. Sunday you feel different, Monday you feel different, but it's meant to be real, so I gave them real. Exactly. And also it's good publicity for the show, isn't it, though? You know what I mean? A, now if there's a bit of argy-bargy. Yeah. Look, if you were in your house and there was somebody fighting outside in the streets, would you turn the telly up and ignore it, or would you open the nets and have a look? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I'd be out there on the step. Go on, girl. Now, have you been fighting with Danny? Are you two getting on? Danny is just a... She's a fabulous young woman. She really is. I don't have any fight with Danny. And all this stuff about jealousy. It's that I've got a daughter nearly as old as yeah. her. Mm -hmm. It would be like being jealous of my daughter. How could anyone ever say that? And it just... There's only so much that anyone can take, you know, and... You know, people at home, you know, they believe what they read in the papers. Of course they do. You know, yeah. they believe it and it's like, all right, I'll take I'm a big girl, I can take it, you can pound me, but it's on and on and on. And then when we were doing the show, I got the call that the one of the Sunday papers was running a story about one of the contestants' parents had done a story about me. I don't even know the contestant, never met his mum or his dad. Two pages, you know, giving me a kick in. I'm like I don't even know him. That's not on, is it? Hey. But do you know what it is? It's like, hey, it's the way of the world, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You know, people do whatever they have to do for money. Papers pay you for stories, yeah. so people give them. And any chance some people get, let's jump on the gravy train, isn't it? Yeah. You know, oh, it's, it's definitely yeah, yeah. this. This year, it's let's give her a good kick in year. You have so, had your fair share, flower. Oh. That, uh, what, you have, though, haven't you? Every but look, do you want a week. word of advice? Go Seriously. On. You go back on Saturday, you've got through cancer, you got through the Osbournes, you got through the brother, you've got through you name it. And you're going to let that lot worry you, you get straight back in there. Do you hear me? No, really. Do you hear me? No, really. Sharon, there's nothing more enjoyable than ruffling feathers, believe you me. And when I ruffled ITVs, those uh, feathers, I was in seventh heaven. No, I, really. I tell you, I don't even know if ITV won't be back having a from anyone. There's no show if you're not back. I mean, you're vital cog in the machinery. You've got to go back. You know what I mean? You're part of it. Do you hear with me? You've got to. Thank you. I've got to go. Sharon. I want to go back to take care of my girls, but I haven't heard from anyone, so I'm ITV, like... ITV, oh. if you're watching, could you do this lady the courtesy of picking up the phone and giving her a little message? You won't do your two on. <laughs> and you're good with phones, let's face it. So pick up a phone, <laughs> really. Hey, I'll pay for the call. She'll pay for the call. <laughs> do you want me to come down with you on Saturday? I'm off. Oh, Paul. Do you want me to? I need your support. I'm coming with you. I need you sat behind me. I've got no one. I'm like looking round like this and I'm like, ooh. Oh, don't worry. I'll have half a bottle of whiskey and stand behind you. They've I'll have the, the other half. half. You have the other I'll half. I'll have the other half. But we've had a message off Louis for you. Seriously. No. Says, yeah, please say a very special hello to Sharon. Tell her I'm keeping my head down in Dublin. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. He sends an, an email to Joey, our booker. I He's very fond of you, you know, Louis. I adore Lulu. He's such a good friend to yeah. me. I he love is. him. You have to go back, Sharon. You can't let him get you down. Seriously, you've got to go back. Besides, you've got a girl there who needs your support. I do. I've yeah. got two. I've got Alicia, I've got Emily, and yeah. I just want to say a quick hello to Kimberly because I know she's watching. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Isn't she great? Do you know what my criticism is with the X Factor, if you don't mind me saying? 
There's too much of fireworks. And you think, just put these people there, put a camera on, let them sing. Oh, we no. don't want the gymnastics. I don't want the circus parade. I don't want no, the explosions. It was like a bloody. It was. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. QVC, here I come. All right. No, it was like. A pantomime. Yeah. There was pyro, there was feathers, girls dancing and it's wiggling, and it was like, oh, it's all kicking off. I know. And like they say, oh, well, this is the expert. It's not. Those days of variety are over. Where'd you see a singer now comes on and has all that? You, maybe a little bit. Britney Spears, when she can get her act together. You know what I mean? But, yeah. No, yeah. but really. But we just no, want to hear know. them sing. I'm coming. I'm talking to Shannon, <laughs> waving signs at me. Oh, Shannon, do you want me to show the clip from Saturday? Oh, I haven't seen it. Right, yeah. Watch I haven't this. seen it. Oh, God. Let's have a look I honestly there, please. haven't seen it. Go on. The final act, definitely back next week, is. Same difference! <laughs> Sharon, one word of advice for both acts. So they both now have to perform now in the final showdown. I can't give them any advice because what I've done has been no good and I think I'm going home now, Dermot. Love you. Everything rests on the decision of Louis, Sharon, Danny and Simon. Sharon has decided to leave the panel tonight, OK? In the show. Sharon? I'm out. OK. <laughs> I'll do the same thing. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> do you want a step of tea? <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. You know what I mean? No, I mean, I kick off like that. God, I'm so dramatic. That's, that's so Fabulous. Cool. That's what you're paid to do, Sharon. Drama, big yeah, drama. Exactly, exactly. And I tell you what, this is about to ruffle a few feathers and all, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> you don't like a quiet life, do you? I don't know. No. I don't know what it's like to have a quiet life. <laughs> Would you agree with Ozzy's description of you? Now, I have to read this now. He says, my wife's a pit bull. She'll jump out of the window and rip your head off if you, you say something wrong about me or the kids. That's right. It's fair. Well, why not? <laughs> Any, anyone would, wouldn't they? Say anything about you, you know, Mrs. or kids. Mate, right? you know, it's, it's like I say, you can't be um, deceitful and, and contrive everything that, the way you're going to behave. I'm going to come out here and be like this, that I'm going to be like this. I just am, and I can't be one of those that's not real and so you know what sometimes i lose it and sometimes i'm nice sometimes i'm happy sad but i don't try and hide it i am what i am normal in other words and i've yeah. never ever claimed to be perfect or better than anyone or i'm not you know i've made mistakes i've made huge mistakes i made one on saturday but i still <laughs> but it's me yeah. um that's what you get yeah you know and you you know, I can't apologise for being me. I am what I am. Don't, don't apologise. Don't have to. Don't. Jay, yeah, yeah, apologise, Mrs. O. <laughs> <laughs> now, according to... I've read this. Go on. Crack and read, by the way. According to this, Simon's had to tell you off a few times. How do you take to that? Um... I can't see Simon telling you off somehow. I, I really... I can't... I can't see him doing it. He d he doesn't tell me off as much as, um, you know, he lets me know when I've gone over the top. And I do go over the top, and he puts me back in my place. And I take it, I respect him for what he's achieved, yeah. and he's given me a lot of work. But um, you have to take it when you're employed by someone. I'm employed, I'm a hired hand. Yeah. You know, it's not my show, it's Simon's, you know, baby. I'd always say you were a hired hand, Sharon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, uh, you're very subdued tonight, if you don't mind me saying. You were subdued in the dressing room. It's upset you on Saturday, hasn't it, all this? It kind of was a build-up, and I think that when I went back out and I was told that there was this other story That's coming out you, on Sunday, yeah. I was like, oh, no. There's oh, well, they trash those people. I but don't care if they're watching or who is. Anyone who goes to this... No, really. Anybody who goes scuttling off to papers and selling stories should be tied to a lamppost and tarred and feathered. Tarred and feathered. That's what I think. Right. Tarred and feathered. You know, really. You know, it's like... what. What kind of world are we living in that in the newspapers it's got, if you have a story on somebody, ring this number, and then it's got, and in something circumstances will pay cash. Yeah. It's like, what is this? Well, it's like a pawn shop. That's not yeah. news. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know. I know. My mother used to say, the only thing you can believe in the papers is the date, and she was right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't believe the weather. <laughs> no, really. Do you know what comes through in this book, though, reading the book? The love for the family. 
that this love that your inc incredible family it's like the woods now ronnie woods and joe wood isn't i this? know I people know. would say oh there's a dysfunctional family no the rolling way. stones they're the most beautiful Loving. family you'd want to meet same as your family your kids are lovely your husband's lovely and it all comes across in this book you know th th i mean that must be something you're very proud of i am it, it's the my greatest achievement is my family and i like to feel that's one of the things that i haven't messed up in my life but you know it's we're all very open people you know we don't try and hide anything and that's why you know all these people saying things you only have to ask us and we'll tell you yeah. just give us a call for free <laughs> <laughs> what happens in the hotel room with ozzy in russia <laughs> oh <laughs> we were this was years ago when it was still communist and, and we were over there doing this special show and you know the hotel rooms the bed was made out of um horse hair oh, and it God. was a big dip in it and you know cockroaches everywhere it was literally what you think yeah, russia would yeah. be like you went in the hotel and it smelled like a toilet yeah you know from the minute you went into the reception and we're like in bed and sleeping with all our clothes on in the bed and suddenly four guys come in and with a great big camera and I'm like oh my god they're gonna what are they doing they, they what do they want and I thought they were gonna torture us and they were gonna film it <laughs> and it was they were coming in they thought we were spies or something and they were coming in to do an interview and because it was for the state-run TV station they don't ask permission they just come in and do it so it's Russia they come in hello and we're both in bed <laughs> thinking that they think we're spies yeah. and they want to get us on tape to confess yeah. and I'm like oh, oh it was just completely <laughs> insane but everything in our life is insane it's been like that hasn't it I I mean, know. yeah it's not an easy ride is it, are you when you open the door do you think what's gonna happen today I do that with the newspapers I'm yeah. like oh dear should I shouldn't I oh, don't worry about them so Stella uh, always says yesterday tomorrow's chip paper she says to me no she's right she is right though isn't she, she? is right are you going to go back Saturday oh yeah <laughs> only if you come I'll with come me with I promise I'll come with you honest engine I'll come with you I promise You're you on. faithfully yeah so You're we're going on. back on Saturday watch <laughs> out folks <laughs> Mrs O's back on Saturday and Mr O's with her <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes! Sharon, I love you. It's lovely I to love see you. you. More. Oh, sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Come on. Sharon, I'll go. I'm in it. Come on, wait this up. I'm so excited. I'm we'll have a little baggy and we'll go in. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, Just watch. Yes. That's a day.